Uh, welcome everyone. Okay, uh, let me start off by saying this is Students Cup Episode 1. Students Cup Episode 1. Uh, <clears throat> this is October of, uh, late October of 2019. So if you watch the other series, or if you haven't watched the other series, please go back and watch that first, actually. Uh, it's nice to see that it's a continuation of things it makes makes more sense if you go back and watch the little world cup 2019 uh before you watch students cup uh 2019 okay with that being said uh let me get into what what is students cup well students cup is a public uh publicly sponsored or you know government sponsored uh soccer tournament for all of taiwan uh, so again, it's split up into North, Central, South, and East regions, and then they take uh, a certain number of each region, and those teams will play in November, in late November, up in Taipei usually, or some other place, um, for the overall championship. Okay, and that's for each age group. That's for each age group. So uh, this tournament... So October of 2019, Jason is in second grade, uh, but he's still seven. He's not eight yet. He hasn't turned eight. And he is with the third grade team with because uh, if you watched the last uh, series with his, his teammates, his second grade teammates are now third graders. And those are the teammates that he likes to play with. Uh, and they like to play with him. And if you watch, I'll just recap very quickly because I talk about it a lot in the last series, which is uh, they both love to play with each other. It's really great to see. Uh, it's great for me to see because they they just work so well together. You know, the, the big guys take care of him and he takes care of them as much as possible. And they take off the load of, uh, of defense. They let him. You know, they let him be the offense, and nobody he never gets any flack. You know, like when they lose, it's not like, oh, you didn't score enough, blah, 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 whatever. And he doesn't, and in reverse, you know, there's no there's no blaming the goalie or blaming the defense uh, when they don't win. So it's just, it's just nice to see the kids working together. They have a good coach. Um, it's just really great. It's just really great. So with that being said, uh, this tournament, Students' Cup, is uh, he's playing in the the third and fourth grade division. So in this, because there's not some tournaments are only third grade, only fourth grade, only fifth grade like that <clears throat> together. But most tournaments are first and second together, third and fourth together, fifth and sixth together. So of course that gives a huge advantage if you're playing like we are in this tournament, the third and fourth grade. Uh, division and your team is mostly fourth graders of course you have a huge advantage um, but that's just the thing here there's just not enough uh, children that play soccer so to fill up these tournaments you almost have to do it this way um, and like our specific club is very interesting in that there's almost no fourth graders uh, there's only but the third graders, there's quite a few that still keep playing. So the third grade can make a full team. Fourth graders couldn't make a full team by themselves. So uh, usually what we do is the fourth graders, you know, go to another, play with another team that's not us. And then they give us maybe, you know, th there's some sharing that goes on sometimes just to fill out rosters. And... The other thing is that what I really like about our coaches is that they like them, even though they're third grade, they're kind of undermanned, undergunned, whatever, undermatched. Uh, they do it because they want to give them experience so that next year when they're fourth grade, they can be, you know, they're not, they're really going to be something. Uh, and that's going to be fun to watch. But it's still fun to watch now. And with that said, uh, I'm going to get it rolling, I think. Okay, now here's the other thing. So on this particular day, this Saturday morning, so there's Jason coming and Jason just got subbed in at the 12 minute mark. 
Now, the reason for that is he was, uh, he was, I wasn't here. This was his, his mom took him to this game. I was with his older brother at the other field. There was a, a second field for the older, for the fifth and sixth grade division. So uh, I was with the older brother. So I wasn't actually physically here watching this. Uh, so he had like some kind of stomach cramps. Not really sure why, but whatever. So he wasn't there. He didn't get to start. But uh, he's back. And so they put him in 12 minutes into the first half. And usually he plays on the wings, left or right, uh, this game. But because he just got subbed in for the mid. So he's just playing mid and they're trying it up. That's the other nice thing about the coaches is they they let people try different places like if you want to be goalie you volunteer for goalie they'll let you be goalie you say hey I, I always play this I want to play you know I always usually play offense I want to play defense okay we'll let you try for a half or 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 some amount of time in a game uh, in this particular game uh, you see the team in black or really dark dark navy blue they are mostly fourth graders and a few third graders in the team so again, our team is a hunt is all third graders plus Jason. So, okay, watch this run out. So watch this, watch this. As he's going to get the ball, he gets there before everybody. Uh, the goalie smart comes out on him. He kicks it anyway. His uh, wingman comes up, gets the rebound, puts it in, which makes the game one one at this point. Uh, makes the game one one at this point. So let's go back. We can watch that again because that's a really nice. Little play. Pick it up a little bit. And so this is what I'm talking about. That they take care of him. They let him just sit up top. And they get him the ball. They get him the ball. With a nice big, just get in there. Bang. Go. Let him chase it. Go get it. He still gets it first somehow. Goalie was smart. Otherwise it would have been in there. For sure. Nice. Nice teamwork. Uh, nice everything. All right. With that being said, um, this game ended up, I think, the other team ends up winning 3-1 or 4-1. They, uh, they put it to them. So not a good way to start the tournament, uh, losing your first game. But it is what it is. So uh, this tournament, you you're in groups. You're in groups of four. The top two out of it um, get to move on to Sunday. Sunday is like the the playoffs, and then they take a certain amount of those teams on Sunday that will get to play uh, in Taipei in November. Now, with that all being said, I want to take this time to uh, express my gratitude. To everybody usually I wait till the end of the series but I'm gonna do this one in uh, episode one because why not and I just want to say thank you to anyone who's watching first of all anyone who's watching uh, I hope you you know I hope this is uh, enjoyable for you and I just really want to say thank you to anybody who at any time spent time uh, playing with my boys soccer or football or baseball or card games or anything um, because every little bit counts. Every little action builds on its, you know, builds up and creates a life. And so I just want to say uh, thank you to everybody for that. Um, and I think I want to take a second just to say, you know, why I'm even doing this in the first place. Uh, mostly it's, you know, for my friends and family I can get a glimpse of what the guys are doing, but also I'm trying to make uh, this will be a nice thing for him when he grows up, for both of them when they grow up, and you know maybe they'll let their kids watch it or who knows what they'll do with it. But I wanted them to have something. So again, thanks everyone for watching. Come back for episode two and see how the rest of this tournament uh, works out. So thanks again. See ya.